Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and I'm going to show you how to transform a video from a standard long form video into a short in DaVinci Resolve for YouTube, TikTok, or whatever else in a really simple way as well. So here you can see I've got a clip, standard video format, the standard 16 by 9 setup. The easiest way to quickly transform this video into a short is to click on File, Project Settings. And then you'll see there's an option here, use vertical resolution. Tick that and it will automatically change the resolution to be in a vertical format. Now I'd recommend selecting 1080 by 1920 HD as the second option, and then simply click save. This has automatically shrunk the display down to be that vertical format. So now your video has been cropped essentially into that position so that you can only see it in the middle. So this is what you would see on a phone. Now, obviously that is then centered on the screen. So it may be the case that you might want to adjust things. You may want to focus it on the other side, for example, or if we have a static shot like this one, what you might want to do is keyframe it instead. So you could pull it over this side. We could apply a keyframe in the inspector and then we could go the other way and then make it go over to the side. So where you've got a shot that would otherwise be in the middle, now it's transformed because it's going side to side with some keyframing. So you still get to see the whole frame just in that smaller format. That is the easiest way to do it. And obviously you can also then drag things in and out. You can zoom in and out in the usual way as you would via the inspector. Now, once it's done, when you've finished and you're happy with it, obviously you'd select the footage that you wanted to export head over to the export tab and you should find that's automatically set to the correct resolution. So you can see here 1080 1920 HD and use vertical resolution is ticked. So you then just add to the render queue and render all. Now, alternatively, if you don't have a timeline already in action, you're just looking to create shorts from scratch, you might want to start a new project. So we click into new project and name it wherever you want. And then when you go up here, go settings from file, project settings again, and you can either tick that vertical resolution or you can select custom, and then you can actually type it out. So it's 1080, 1920. You'll notice that it actually automatically ticks use vertical resolution. So that's actually the easiest way to do it. Now, when we're on the edit tab, if we take some of the footage, drag it onto the timeline, what you want to do is change project frame rate. So make sure it matches. It will keep the same framing, but what we want to do is make sure that the speed matches. So now I've got a clip here, which is obviously panning because I panned with the camera and it happens to be in the middle of the screen. So you end up with it being the way you want to. You can obviously adjust with keyframes and other things, zoom in a bit and change the format of that ever so slightly if you want to. Now, when you're on the export tab, if you have changed it to custom, you may want to check that the export settings are the same or even save things you might want to tweak. So what I actually find is personally for me, the best export settings are QuickTime, H.265. And then for YouTube, you want to set it to 1080 by 1920 HD, use vertical resolution, make sure the frame rate is the same as whatever the frame rate is there and best quality and then add to render queue. The other thing I'd recommend is if you are uploading it to YouTube, click on the audio tab and then look for the audio normalization settings. You can select normalize audio and then there's a setting down here for YouTube specifically. So if you're doing a voiceover, adding music, whatever else you're doing to it, you can then put that in there. We then select a export location. You give it a file name, add to render queue and then render it out. You should find it doesn't take any time at all. Obviously it's only one clip, but if you have a lot more, it should still be fine. And then we go into the exports and I'd recommend just testing to make sure you're happy with it. If you open it up, you'll see that it's actually cropped into that nine by 16 format. So it's in the vertical format. And this is what it will look like on your phone or on the viewer's phone when they get to see it. And you end up with a very nice clip and hopefully you found this useful. Subscribe for more. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel.
and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.